Hello, uh, Paul here. It's been uh, several weeks since I've done a video. Uh, it's been busy. Uh, I was out of town for uh, Thanksgiving visiting my family and uh, when I got back uh, I was uh, back to work for about three or four days and then I was off for another week to go elk hunting in northern Arizona with some friends of mine that I've been elk hunting with for about uh, eight or nine years now. So um, I am back home uh, and I uh, thought I would go ahead and do a video today. <clears throat> today I'm going to be doing a shave with a soap that I got a few weeks ago before I uh, went on vacation and that is the uh, uh, Phoenix uh, Artisan Accoutrements uh, Harvest Moon. Um, when I saw this, uh, this soap in the list of uh, uh, notes uh, I was really uh, excited to try this. It has a lot of things that I really like in there. Um, the note list is pretty extensive. It includes oud, green, toba green tobacco, black currant, hay absolute, peru balsam, smoke, Spanish moss, and a white sage, and a, as well as a tobacco absolute. Um, so, pretty uh, extensive list. The only thing on there that I wasn't familiar with was the peru balsam. Uh, apparently, that's a resinous substance that. Uh, has uh, compounds in it that are related to uh, cinnamon, vanilla, and clove. Uh, so there you go. Pretty uh, extensive list of notes in, in this soap. And uh, when I got it, I was really, really excited. I, I, I really like to smell this. Just to kind of sum it up, it is definitely a barbershoppy kind of scent. But um, it has, has some, you know, a little bit of that, you can, that, that black current comes through there. Um, and uh, at least to my nose, um, although oud is listed in there, uh, um, it doesn't uh, have that uh, uh, kind of smoky, sour, stinky oud uh, scent that you'll get with some uh, some oud colognes or perfumes. Um, it, it really blends in there nicely, and um, I don't really pick up a, uh, what I would typically. Uh, um, associate with oud, but all the other stuff really, it, it all blends together really nicely and uh, um, uh, creates a, a, a nice alchemy of, uh, of uh, scent that is really pleasing to the nose. So <clears throat> enough about that. Um, so I'm going to be using that soap. I do have the mat matching aftershave as well. Had to get that. Uh, I'm going to be using a razor today that, uh, uh, this is a, a, a dashi uh, razor. Uh, this is a, a, a razor that is made of uh, Japanese steel. Uh, it says Jisuki Steel Dashi. Um, and uh, made in a, a Yasuki factory uh, in Japan. Um, and this razor I got from uh, Stefan at Straight Razor Works. Uh, he kind of specializes in refurbishing razors and uh, seems to have a good supply uh, of... Uh, Japanese steel razors. I've never tried Japanese steel razor before I got this. I was encouraged to do so by some of my Facebook friends um, and uh, I finally broke down and uh, contacted Stefan and got this razor and I've been really happy with it. I really enjoy the razor. Uh, it's about a, I don't know, quarter to a half hollow, hollow grind um, and uh, that's kind of uh, what I like as far as a, an edge. I, I don't tend to like a really full hollow, thin hollow ground razor. Um, I think I said in another video, uh, I might have been using this razor, I don't know, I can't remember if I used this in another video, but um, uh, just a regular full hollow ground, the blade, I seem to feel it's blade flex, and although I can get good shaves with like my Dovo um, Black Star and uh, uh, um, my um, King Cutter, um, that flex is just a little bit disconcerting. I, I don't really like the feel of that. Um, and uh, so I like to have a little bit of meat, more meat behind the edge of the razor. So this one seems to really fit the bill nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. And uh, for my brush today, I'm going to be using the, uh, this is a Shave Mac brush, silver tip, not, I have no idea what the number uh, or the size of this knot is, I'm just going to guess it's about 30 to 32 millimeter knot. I got this in a trade from a fellow, uh, from one, another one of my 
uh, friends in one of the Facebook groups, who, or, or actually I think I bought it from him. He didn't really care for it. It was too big for him. And uh, so I, I picked it up. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and use that today. I actually really like this brush, even though it's humongous. It uh, really works well. And I, 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 I've really become a fan of the of the bul of a bulb shaped notch. That really seems to be what I prefer these days. And uh, um, this, this big, huge bulb is just a pleasure to use. So I'm going to go ahead and load my brush, and we'll go ahead and get going. And, get on with the shave here. So as you can see this brush has a lot of coverage but it is super duper dense but yet it is just incredibly soft. It's just like a big pillow of badger hair on your face and it's just really really an awesome brush. As you can see, the soap uh, lathers quite nicely. No uh, issues. Even with the hard water here uh, that I have uh, come out of my well, um, I have not had any issues with lathering the soap whatsoever. I'm just going to get some of the excess stuff off the puck there. Use that up. Okay, I'm just going to this off, set that aside, and we'll go ahead and get going here. Alright, we'll go ahead and get started. Yeah, I really, I really like the uh, the solid feel of this blade. Um, it, it it also really seems to have held the held its edge really well. I've used this several times. Um, I have not had to rehone it. It came. Nice and sharp from Stefan. The only thing I've done is touch this up on my chromium oxide pasted straw. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Okay. Do a second pass here. And I think in the interest of time I'm just going to do a two pass shave here. I'm not going to uh, bore you with a third pass. I'll just do the two passes and then we'll uh, call it good. So it is Saturday. I don't need to go crazy today. So.
ini. Go ahead and rinse off the machines here. Really pretty good for two passes. Normally I would do a third pass on my uh, uh, on my uh, neck and uh, cheeks here. Um, usually on the third pass I'll, c I'll come this way and then I'll kind of come up at more of an angle like that. And then here I'll go this way, and then this way, and then up at an angle. And uh, yeah, it gets a, it gets a pretty pretty good shave. And actually, with just two passes, it's pretty good. So can't complain. Um, I will usually apply a little alum after a, after a straight razor shave. This is just a, uh, this is actually just a uh, um, alum deodorant stick that I got from, uh, I think I got this from, uh, from Sprout. Um, so anyways, uh, it seems to work pretty good and it's friggin' huge. Um, so that should last a while. Um, and then uh, I'll let that, kind of rub that in, let it sit for a second, just go ahead and wipe it off. And then apply the aftershave. And uh, again, this aftershave is uh, is is uh, awesome. It has a little little bit of menthol in this one. Uh, not all the Phoenix uh, aftershaves do, but this one has a touch, which really is nice. And I just absolutely love the smell of this. Actually, as good as that soap smells, this aftershave is. Uh, is off the hook. It really smells great. It smells like the soap but more intense and uh, absolutely love that and I will just say this that that is one thing that I've been really impressed with it with from uh, uh, Phoenix uh, Artisan Accoutrements. Uh, their aftershaves are uh, you know pretty outstanding. Um, their soaps are good. I like their soaps but I really love the aftershaves. So anyways guys that's the shave of the day. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will see you soon. Bye bye.